Last time we checked out the Barrens, so this time we're going to go through the Glen. And I'm not expecting any major differences, except there is one achievement here that um, leads to a little something else later on that we'll try to get. So yeah, this is the part of the game where we had to go save the little girl and her brother. Well, I guess her brother didn't need saving, but... Uh... Hey, buddy. Yeah, we'll help you out, we know. See, I think this only took like two or three videos the first play, the first time, so it should be even easier to go through this time. I don't know if it's going to be important since we already did the save the world thing, and that seems to be the one that Maze is tied to, but just in case, I'm going to try and get that water sample and do all the things for Maze, because it really doesn't take too long. Uh, it, it just wouldn't feel right. Is this where we got the thing? Hello, person. No, that's not the one. Uh, maybe it's further down here. I think it was around here. Yeah, there. I think, I think, yeah, this is it. Give me the thing. Okay. So, I think the entrance was actually around here too, wasn't it? Oh, something I noticed too. The, uh, the controls for the game make a lot more sense if you use the, um, the, the letter keys. Because A opens this menu and S opens this menu. I was using enter and, um, I don't even know what else I was using. Oh! You can change the key bindings. Wasn't well, that nice? That's apparently what F1 does. Wait. There's an FPS counter you can turn on. Okay, I'm just going to not press buttons because it's going to do something really bad. Okay, go away, Mr. Mouse. Um, it makes more sense now. I'm, I don't... I'm not a big fan of the standard RPG maker, like, and Flash game sort of, you know, we use the ZXC sort of keys thing, but, uh, it, it makes sense once you actually do stuff. And there's that big old robot we can't get past without, you know, signing our name, for, you know. That's security, my friends, you gotta, you gotta sign a thing. You know, with, with... You know, cryptography, you gotta have a signature, right? So that's... I'm pretty sure that's how SSL works. You gotta have a signature, so... Or, you know, a something. Very cube-based world. Lots of cube things. The, the, the deletion things happen in cubes, too. It's all about cubes. It's a very cubey world. Alright, let's go see Maze. We're going to skip extra fast through her dialogue, because it's horribly depressing. I don't think it's any different. Yeah, I have the sun. Hey, uh, there we go. I have the sun. Give him the stick! Don't give him the stick! I think I made that joke the first time. If I didn't, I did now. Now, where was the first place we went for this? I forget if we need the sun to save the little girl. I don't think we do. We just go straight to that puzzle because the, the knowing the symbol, the light bulb symbol, um, certain puzzles are very obvious in retrospect. Something like this. Wait, what was it exactly? Hold on. I gotta. I have a screenshot of that, that somewhere. Uh. Um. Crap. Did I close it? Oh, here it is. Here it is. Uh. There we go. Oh, right, the corners, the corners. So you gotta remove the corners. And it's actually down like this. Oop, 
No. Eh? Did I miss? Oh, I think there's one in the middle too. There you go. Now I'm remembering things. Hi. Did we ever learn your name? Maybe I just forget it. Oh yeah, Alula. <laughs> She's so cute. Everyone in this game is so cute. It's great. Alright. Nothing in this room. Nothing up my sleeve. Wait a minute. How did you know I was the um, Messiah? Oh, it's not with me. Right. Oh yeah, we already... Now, I was going to say, why isn't she following me? But I guess you got to talk to her first. I guess, ha like, more than half of the game is talking to people. So, yeah, the second playthroughs are pretty quick. Um, was it down this way? There's a robot that warns you that, like, two kids are living here. Um, all right. I guess we may as well talk to the computer. This. How did she already know the answer? I figured this might be a little different. <laughs> Take that entity. I don't need your bull crap. <sighs> was it? I think it was. Hmm. Hi, robot. Oh, wait, this is the other way you can get in, I think. Wait, no, it's not. Okay, I guess their home is deeper in. I forget exactly where their home is. It's somewhere in here. We'll find it. Oh, right. A friend of mine did some um, one-shot fan art. Since I mentioned... Um, on Twitter, I mentioned something about... Um, Nico being a lot more relatable and interesting than Frisk, because I mean, Frisk is just kind of there. He's a self insert. Nico is his own thing. They're not really meant to be comparable. I just, you know, I don't think it's a flaw of Undertale necessarily that, uh, um, that Frisk is not so interesting, but, um, it's just a very different thing. But yeah, she did a sort of closed swap fan art thing. Let me bring this up. Here we go. Uh, let me try to bring this. This is from Rad Lego Waffle, who uh, um, she uh, she's done some other fan art of uh, of tap taps, like of of me, I guess you would say. So <laughs> there's Frisk and uh, Nico. Uh, there'll be I'll put a link to that in the description. The actual image. The actual art. Um, now that I did that, I'm lost again. Okay, no, no, I, I know where to go. I think. Can't go that way. Her ribbon thing looks like it's like scissors going clip, 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 clip. All right, it's over here. Okay. Hi, buddy. Wait, do you say anything now that I got her intel? Hello, people. I'm one of them. Yes, he does. I love the personality everyone has, like, just the little remarks people make about things, like, um, way back in the, in the Barons, Nico is like, um, what do you mean? I thought she's, doesn't she just, I thought she just kicks the thing. Oh, I guess we gotta find her brother first. Um, wait, so do I go down this way? No, I haven't been down this way in this playthrough. Oh, wait, yes I have. I'm stupid. That's so. Wait, did we talk to Maze with her intel before? I don't think we did. Let's, let's give that a shot just to see if it's any different. Lula, are you okay? She slipped away. Not too much different, but yeah, we missed that before. So there's apparently 
an achievement we can get here. I I think I need the sun back first. And I think I need some other items as well. Well, I think I just need the one thing that Alula and uh, her brother give me. Oh. I don't think that actually does anything, but sure. Uh, this is the thing I was thinking of. Yeah, this is the shortcut back to town. I guess I did all of these little areas like the exact opposite way you should have. Like, in the Barrens, you should really kind of start going up, and then down, and then right, and then all around. Wait. Oh no, I'm lost again. Wait, I think you just... Go back up here... Wait, no, no I, I know where I'm going. But then, you're supposed to come here first, or at least to progress faster, you go here first. But I wanted to talk to everybody in town anyway, so... It's good to have done that, I guess. Though... Oh, hey. I guess I shouldn't take a nap now. I don't think the nap sequences are different, but I'll just try all of them again, just in case. Uh, I think her bro is somewhere around here. There he is. Hey, buddy. The floating squares. Oh, interesting. So, I didn't even realize, like, we made the floating stuff disappear. The, the... Crap. What was that called? Just, like, blocks? Square stuff bad. Anything just such as. So it's kind of interesting that that seems like the the entity deliberately let us save her, or like that puzzle directly altered the box, the deletey stuff. <laughs> Looks like we can't get past that block. He's such a video game character. Seriously. I literally never thought of that. <laughs> Poor Nico. Alright, this probably won't be any different. It, it seems like the computer stuff is different. I'm, I'm guessing... The, the little interaction with the entity and uh, the one thing we can do... Aww. <laughs> uh, the one thing we can do with the uh, trader will be different. Which is weird, because I, I deliberately... I was trying to mess with the trader, but I guess there's even more you can do. Is there anything out here? sure if anything will be different here. Probably not, but... This was another point where the author... Hey! Did we see that before? Nico, what's wrong? Looks like you're about to faint. It happened again. Earlier I was in the Baron's era and I kind of saw something. It's like a dream, but only for a split second. So that's the author. Like something a prophet would see. Whoa! I mean, if you can talk to Tap Tap, it would make sense, right? I guess? Or not. I don't know. I've only read about it before. Oh. Anyway, what is this place? Looks like it must used to lead somewhere. Yeah. That's the burial ground. So, the author went this way. Everywhere we go... Everywhere the author went, we see those visions. And the author... Kinda looked like Nico there. Which kind of reminds me of a certain thing in Axiom Verge that I can't even mention without being extreme spoilers. It's a ball. That's mine. <laughs> but, uh... I think we got... Alright, so I am glad I checked that, so... Those visions weren't there before, were they? Like, let me know if they were, but... Dust and cobwebs. Can we get in there before? Hmm. Oh well. 
But yeah, now we can go, I guess we need to do the ram puzzle. Not that that was difficult in any way. And, uh, yeah, it was down here that was the shortcut, right? Oh, wait. Well, we needed to go here anyway. The darkness is a nice somber touch here. Oh, are we... I guess she's still chilling with it. When did we get the sun back? Oh, right, we gotta do the ram puzzle first. I had forgotten. The, the, the absurd video game logic where we couldn't do the ram puzzle because we had a thing in our hands. Even though we don't use our hands for, for the puzzle. Whatever. Video games. Alright, the exit. Where, where, where's the exit that I was thinking of? Oh, it's here. Okay. The, the geometry in there doesn't make much sense in terms of how it maps to the real world. I get confused. We'll talk to her later. Alright. It's time for... Oh, yes! Best character in the game. Best. Alright, yes. I like how he just asks immediately. He reminds me of Gideon Graves from, um, uh, from whatchamacallit, from Scott Pilgrim, with the glowy glasses thing. Wait, hang on. Um, hmm. Oh, I think I've done a bad thing. I'm not sure I've done a good thing at all. Okay, let's reset this puzzle. Yeah, I don't think I did that right. Um, so this one, I think, just kind of has to stay there. Uh, what do I do with this one? This wasn't even a problem the first time I played. I don't know how... I don't know. I've got... I've got some of the brain damage. Let's just stick you over there for now. Wait. I didn't have trouble with this the first time. Why am I having trouble now? Um... Wait. No, I think we're good. I think we're good. It's easier than it looks. It seems like you could get stuck, but you... Since you don't have to, like, escape, you're, you're kind of fine. Alright, so fine, Ram Wall. Hold on, hold on. One more for the road. <laughs> Thank you. We just completely ignore the town this time. It feels kind of wrong, but hey. Second playthrough. Alright, let's just... Wait. I probably need the sun back before I can do that. So I think now... We can uh, get the maze back from... Or the sun back from maze. So sad, but I guess... It's not exactly the world's happiest world. Or uh, the universe's happiest world, perhaps. I guess this is a lot... This is... Interesting. So... It's kind of like the sun gets power directly from Nico. Like... Yeah, that's interesting. I feel kind of extra bad going through this world again and knowing that uh, we're going to do the other option this time. But hey, we can we can redo it again and then make everything right again. So whatever, I guess. Have the have the sun. Tap tap. No, <laughs> I don't think it's right to trade this away. Oh, you have one of those coin things. Hey, we we said that again. Ah, frick! No dialogue. Do you want a feather? I'm not trading that. You're not trading what? What's that? A feather? Mm -hmm. That is not. A feather. Oh, so this is new. That is a feather from the late prophet. Oh. 
probably one of the most secret items they're in. How in the world did you get a hold of that? Wait, I suppose it would make sense for you to have one. You know, with you being the savior and all. Um, okay. They're not giving you this either. Oh, but what if it's like her baby? I can't give away someone's baby like that. Especially not to a bird. <laughs> uh, hey! <laughs> Sorry, bird. How about this glass tube full of rotter I got from a robot? Do you like glass? Do I? Do you? I love glass! So much! So much that I have too much glass and not enough other things. <laughs> I have to get through some of my old bottles and vials to make room for new stuff. That's why I set up a trade post in the first place. So I guess that's a no-go. Wait, trade this? Uh, th don't we want to find out what it first sa said? The what it says first? Tap tap? Is that a book? Not sure if I want to take books. I can't read! She's so happy about that. Alright, so now we need to reject her first offer. Wool, huh? That'll get you. This fine vial of... I'm not sure what it is, actually. Some kind of fabric dye? Eh? Wait, tap tap, you want to haggle? Really? Alright then. Tap tap said they wanted a better offer. Holy smokes! Forgot I was doing trade with a god for a second there. Okay, okay. In that case, also throw in this commemorative t-shirt. A commemorative t-shirt? Wait, hold on. Let me just double check that this is the right way to do this. Because I've only got one shot, remember? <laughs> this is the name of the game! Yeah. Um... Okay, yeah. This is what we do. Uh, yes. Pleasure doing business with you. So now we have a t-shirt! I herded rams and all I got was this lousy t-shirt. Can I trade the t-shirt with you? I ain't taking that back! The shepherd was handing these out a while ago. But does it look like it'll fit me? Huh? T-shirts aren't exactly made for people with wings. This seems like an inappropriate place to distribute, you know... Hi, Mr. Sheep. Um, such things. What was this? Like, we never... This seems so important. It's an orb. The material looks like amber. But it, we never really did anything here. I don't think there is anything to do here either, which is weird. It's an orb. The material looks like amber. It really feels like you should be able to put the sun on the altar or something, or the seed, but we tried that before, and I just, I don't get it. But yeah, we're pretty much done with the glen, so we're just gonna head out. Wait, did I get an achievement? I was supposed to get... I found like the wool did not give him... Did I do something wrong? You're supposed to get an, an extreme bartering achievement for messing with the poor trader like that. Try the light bulb amber seed to a seed. Did I? I don't. I don't know if I got the thing. Achievements. It's not really critical, but I was hoping to do that. Extreme bartering. Oh, come on! I totally did that. Is there an item I missed? Okay. It says here, try to give them the light bulb. Amber. Strange journal. Feather. Seed. Tube of water. Finally, did I forget to try the sun? Oh, come on. I could, I know I did this one. So, tube of water. I know I did this one too. Do I have to. Okay, I definitely tried all of the things. I don't know. I don't get it. Tube of water, seed, finally, a little. Maybe I was supposed to even refuse the offer with the t-shirt. I don't know. But there's something else we can do with the t-shirt, so it wasn't a total waste. Anyway. Uh, how do we get out of here? Not that way. We need to go sign the thingy. Right. Oh, crap. Did I, I don't think I offered the two of the... Did I offer the vial of whatever crap? I think that was my mistake. So yeah, I think you offered them the vial of ink too, and I had already made the pen. Or had I? I don't know. I messed up. I'm not sure if I'll need to do a playthrough 3, but I guess it won't really be too long. 
Here you go. Oh, you have to take the nap. Okay then. Okay, so I guess it forces you to take the naps. I just kind of took them because it was interesting. All right, let's fire up one shot again. Don't eat your sleeve. Sleeves are not for eating. They're for keeping your hands warm. Yeah, pretty sure that was the same. Yep, I saw your dream. Yeah. Weird balls and moss. Wait, you saw one of my dreams. The ocean of food. Uh, me neither. I've never been to the ocean. Oh, I guess we have that in common tap tap. You're kind of seeing the ocean now. In this world, anyway. As for me, I've seen them on TV before. <laughs> Look at his eyes! I never thought I'd get to ride a boat through one. The water back home doesn't have glowy stuff in it like this, either. Uh, but I guess that's because this world's already so dark. You know, I used to be scared of the dark tap tap. Oh. Uh, it's good you got over that. I guess. Otherwise, I wouldn't last long here. And again, I've been carrying around the sun, so it's not too bad. Also, don't feel so scared with you guiding me. So thanks for that. Anyway, we should head out now, tap tap. See, if you change, choose the different dialogue options, like, like I figured, it doesn't really make a big difference. But I figured we're already doing a playthrough too, so we might as well. Um, this poor robot doesn't have a pen. Um, yeah, might as well try all of the different things. Hopefully, I'll just be down two achievements, because I can't get the one-shot achievement, like I said, for uh, for completing the game without closing it with the X, which I messed up in the very first video and didn't need to. Ugh, whatever. Hey, tap tap. I'm saying the scroll. There's already another name on it. It was a little blurry, but I think that name was also Nico. Weird. Oh. Okay then. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Oop. What in the world? Alright. Time to run. Well, next time we'll be checking out the city. I think that's a bit longer than the Glen. Oh dang, this almost took a half hour, so I guess this wasn't really that short, but I did get lost a few times. Well, next time we'll be exploring the city and seeing what's different here i think especially once we get down to the ground it feels like they'll be a lot different so that'll be interesting well see you next time